let's start right there with what I think JP Morgan called the COVID puppy boom um, and the fact that the majority of your business is companion animals. What are you seeing in terms of how resilient the consumer and the pet owner in the United States is where some analysts have pointed to some softening there in Europe amid all the economic troubles? What we're really excited about is what we see is an incredible strength actually in the companion animal business globally. And that is being driven by exactly what you said, which is that pet owners are more engaged than ever with their pets. They're spending more time at home with their pets. And part of that has to do with who's adopting the pets. It's millennials and Gen Z who see their pet as such an important part of the family and also a lot more high income households adapting pets. They're having more than one pet. And as pets become a more important part of the family, we're seeing the resilience of the industry. And when you add that to the innovation we have at Zoetis, we're really seeing significant above market growth led by innovation in important areas such as pain where we have the number one franchise, dermatology where we have the number one franchise, and parasiticides where we're number two. And even in Europe, we continue to see strength in our portfolio there. One of the things that Kelly uh, alluded to there was capacity issues. So there are so many more pets, not enough vets to help take care of all of them. How is that sort of shaking out right now? So what we talked about, that, that boom, it, it was truly a boom in more pets. And a lot of those were puppies. So you saw lots and lots of visits last year. But, you know, thankfully for your furniture, pet, the puppies grow up to dogs um, and they need less visits. But the labor capacity issue, which you were both talking about, is really important. And really what you saw is a lot of burnout and a lot of turnover, which you saw in lots of other industries. But turnover here meant less productivity in the vet. They could see fewer patients. But what's important to remember is vet visits are still on the incline. So as you take it from before the pandemic to now, they're still up. And historically, they grow at about 1%. But for our business, that's not the most important factor. Actually, overall, the animal health industry has grown on average about 5.8%. And so it really drives that growth more and more is innovation and the importance of the pet and the pet owner's willingness to spend when they go to the vet. Kristen, it's Kelly here. You know, as we all debate the labor market and how strong it can remain, I, do we understand that you guys are actually hiring a lot of people who might have been laid off from the tech space? If so, why and do you expect that your business can be recession proof more or less this time around uh, like it has it often in the past? Well, I would say if you look at the pet industry in general, we're not recession proof, but we're pretty resilient. So if you look at, say, the last uh, Great Recession in 2009, the industry still grew at 2.6 percent. And historically, Zoetis over the last 10 years has grown anywhere from two to five percentage points ahead of the industry. And that is because it's very resilient. Uh, we did a recent study, for example, for an average household, if they had an income change of negative 20 percent, would they spend less on their pets? And no one would spend less on their pets. In fact, there's research from the Human Animal Bond Research Institute that 86 percent of pet owners would spend, quote, whatever it takes to take care of their pet. So that has made us be more resilient. And I would say a lot of that are our colleagues. We're a very purpose-driven company, and I think they remain very committed. And with that, to your point, we've been able to attract great talent, especially in the digital and analytics area, to help fund some of our great innovations around artificial intelligence and diagnostic, such as with images. So we're really proud of that track record. Well, I want to ask you also about what's going on with the supply chain. I think that did cause some hiccups uh, in the last year. How is that sort of uh, turning out right now? Yeah, I mean, like many companies, we definitely had supply chain issues last year. At the beginning of the year, they were focused a lot on our monoclonal antibodies. We have three monoclonal antibodies uh, for pets. And that was because we were competing with human vaccines uh, for a lot of those inputs. And understandably, they went to human vaccines first, which was a challenge. But what we saw in Q2 and Q3 were some challenges in our parasiticides. And each one of those was a special cause. And getting that with supply chain issues, as you've seen in many other industries, was really hard for us because that is the parasiticide season. You know, in the height of the summer, when everyone makes sure that they're getting all those medicines. So we did see that. But the good news is we've resolved all those issues. We're back in full supply. In fact, we ran great promos uh, in Q4 in the U.S around the world on important brands such as Semperica Trio and ProHeart and Revolution Plus. So we're happy to say that most of those are behind us, but it definitely was a challenge for us in Q2 and Q3. Mm. And I guess one thing I'm just sort of curious about is that trend where a lot of people got dogs during the pandemic. You heard anecdotally that some people aren't keeping them now that we're all back to work. Has that affected or turned up in your in your bottom line at all? The fact line? is they're returning them at the same percentage they always have. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think everyone's been waiting for that stories, but we spend a lot of time and are very partnered with a lot of shelters. 
those uh, for Zoetis for Shelters program to support the health of those. And they're not seeing that trend, honestly, at any more higher level than you historically have. And part of that is a lot of people have remained home with those pets. And then that's making them take even more time with them and spend even more on them. So we really see these fundamental trends of the importance of companionship, which I think a lot of us learned uh, during the pandemic mm -hmm. as really important, durable, long-term trends and add that to our innovation. And we think this will be strength for both animal health, but more importantly for Zoetis for the future.